Originally it was going to all be shot in Japan, but it's very expensive there and Tokyo today looks nothing like Tokyo of 1946, so uh, we decided to try to find somewhere in Europe where we could shoot 90% of the film. I really liked making Lithuania look like Japan. We had a destroyed Tokyo, it was an area in Lithuania and we were allowed to uh, put it in flames and burn it to the ground. And as a cinematographer it's always very challenging to make one country look like the other. But it was a great adventure and I think we really did well. What's From Holland, we organized together with the Lithuanians the, to shoot all the interiors in Lithuania because all the interiors, most of them, are uh, built here in the studios. Fantastic sense. As it turns out, luckily, it also has uh, a landscape that's uh, in some ways very much like Japan in 1946. And I think with uh, the energy of Rolf and the fantastic production design of Harry that really makes things easier and more cinematic for us. A lot of it, and that's the good thing, is that it has been specially made for this production, like all the chairs in the courtroom, all the, the specific, specific chairs in the uh, hotel and restaurant, all the furniture that are in the hotel rooms. It's all specially made for this occasion. A Japanese production designer who checked the, the if everything was Japanese. So there were a lot of checks from that um, and, and in the combination with the, 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 the Dutch, the Canadian, the, the Japanese crew. But the main, the bulk of the crew comes from Lithuania, which is, is very good uh, people. While prepping for the movie we had to, um, I was checking the archival material just to know more what it looked like in the courtroom because we had some courtroom scenes where we had some extras of course, we're going to use a lot of material, um, uh, archival material, but whatever we shot in the studio, we had a little bit, me and my third AD, we would check and would know how they deal, how would they pass the papers, are they wearing the earphones. So that was the main, main thing I did for my part. I'm also very happy with the costume designer who did like an amazing job. We have created about 1,500 costumes, 1,500 costumes. I did study the original photos of the judges and we did do similar things. For instance, on Justice Paul, the, who is played by Irfan Khan, we made certain to use the white tie. Um, but other and on Justice Webb, we made certain that the hat was the same hat as we saw photographs of. And on Rolling, we made sure that he had sweaters, that knitwear that was handmade that went very high. So there were small things we could do. When you have a lot of people dressed in beautiful clothing like this, beautiful costumes, which these are all real, you know, this is made in the wartime. And all of the hairstyles and, uh, you know, this kind of stuff, uh, when you have a room full of people dressed looking like this, it is wonderful. It makes you really begin to appreciate what it must have been like to live in that time. I, I, I think these people are really fashionable, you know, particularly the women's hairstyle and uh, gloves. And uh, so I would say the clothing is probably was the biggest thing that made me feel as though I was back in the period, in the time. Do I look as though I belong in World War II? I hope so. I was very passionate about this project from the beginning. And when I designed for the ladies, the ladies I'm referring to are um, Edith Schneider, the diva, and the interpreter. And both of the ladies were two very extremes. One was very high fashion and one was very plain. But both gave me great joy. I never played um, a character in, in this um, period of time. And I love it. And they made all these costumes uh, uh, on my body, so that is very special, of course. I really enjoy working with an actor when um, I can bring my vision and he brings his character. And then we work like this to create something that's very beautiful. 